welcome to this yin yoga class to help you if you have trouble falling asleep or if you need help to calm down your busy mind at the end of the day. We will start in a seated meditation, so sit up on a cushion or a block to make it comfortable, cross-legged or kneeling. Get nice and tall in your spine, in a very comfortable seat. Rest your hands on your thighs with the palms facing down or up. Whatever feels best to you right now and then gently close your eyes. Take your time to consciously arrive in your now moment. In your environment. In your body. In this room. And allow your hips to get really heavy and imagine your sit bones rooting down into the surface you're sitting on. From this place of deep groundedness, imagine you're like a flower that can grow even taller by lengthening the crown of the head to the sky. Notice how long and tall your spine is in this position. Your chin dips ever so slightly. Relax your jaw and soften all the tiny little facial muscles around your eyes and your forehead. Enjoy being in this present state. There is nothing else but you and your now moment. Take pleasure from this simplicity which e with each and every breath that passes. Again and again, there is always a new moment of now. Nothing more and nothing less. Let everything go that no longer serves you. Whatever happened today and whatever you managed to get done and what you did or didn't do, know that whatever happened that you did enough, what you are doing is enough, what you have is enough, you are enough. Being you in this moment, doing your yoga practice, is enough. Slowly return back and deepen your breath. And we will start with our yin practice. Open your eyes again. And our first pose is going to be a child's pose. You can either keep the knees close together to make this even more restorative or you can to uh, put them hip width distance apart. Choose whichever feels best to you and then fold down, placing your hands in a diamond shape above your head. Rest your head on the mat. Your arms can, could always extend back behind you with the palms facing up if that feels better for you. Let your upper body completely rest. Allowing gravity to do the work here. 
And if this doesn't feel comfortable for your head and neck, you can rest it also on your hands stacked on top of each other or maybe a folded blanket. Place your hands out in front of you to press yourself back up one vertebrae at a time, mindfully coming back up. Extend your legs out in front of you, we will lower down onto our backs. Setting up for reclined pigeon pose or sleeping swan pose. Feet flat on the ground. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, right foot is flexed. If you feel a stretch in your right hip here, stay in this option. Or you can reach through with your arms, pulling your left knee in towards your chest. So there's a little bit of engagement in the arms required here, but really try to relax everything else. Your shoulders and neck are soft. Your tongue rests on the floor of the mouth. This is your time to truly rest and set everything else aside.
Release the left foot back to the floor. Both feet flat on the mat, staying here at center for a few breaths to notice any shifts within you. Let's do the other side now. This time you're crossing your left ankle over your right thigh. Left foot is flexed, maybe staying here if this is enough, or reaching out with your arms to hold on to the thigh or shin. Gently pull in towards you and relax the arms as much as possible. If your mind starts wandering, always just bring your focus back on your breath. Watching your belly rise and fall to the rhythm of your breath. Let's release the right foot back down on the mat, both feet flat down and then pull both knees in towards your chest, maybe flex and point your toes or make some circles for your lower back. Any movements that feel good to you right now in this moment.
when you're ready, you can stretch out into Shavasana. Straighten your legs, arms go out to your sides. Just rest here. And if you want to, you can repeat the mantra. I am doing enough. I have enough. I am enough. I'm doing enough. I have enough. I am enough. This is where I will leave you. I hope this class helped you to calm down your mind at the end of a busy day. And I hope that this will help you to fall asleep with ease. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.